So this is our equation, a equals p times 1 plus r over n to the nt. And in my example, let's have, we invest $1,000, so p is 1,000. Say we want it to triple, and say it's compounded quarterly, you know, blah, 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 compounded quarterly, and let's say the rate is 12%. So the thing is, when it says triple, don't even worry about the A and the P. Because if it says triple, that means the amount we get at the end is going to be three times what we start with. So don't put 3,000 is 1,000. Write 3 equals 1. Save yourself time. 1 plus compounded quarterly. What does that mean? Oh, the number of times it's compounded is 4 per year. Bam. So we get the N equals 4. The rate is 12%. Decimal mode, that's 0 0.12. So we put R over N, that's going to be 0 0.12 over 4 to the NT, that's going to be 4 times T, that's what we don't know. Okay, simplify, this is 3 equals 1.03, that's 0 0.12 over 4 is 0 0.03, 1 plus 0 0.03, 1.03 to the 4T. This is where it looks a little nasty because you're like, what's up with that exponent? So that's when we get the purple pen, and we're like, oh, we got to do log. Why do we do log? Because if we get log 3 equals log 1.03 to the 4t, man, this exponent here, when you do a log, that becomes a coefficient. What does that mean in English? Log 3, we're back in black, equals 4t log 1.03. Don't worry about what all these numbers are. Remember, like the Mafia, we want to isolate the T. So what we do is we divide by everything that's not T on the right-hand side. What is not T on the right-hand side? I'm going to go with 4 log 1.03. So that's 4 log 1.03. Just take a little stutter step here to see what we have so far. We have log 3 over 4 log 1.03. Use parentheses copiously. This is what it would look like entering in your calculator. Just trust me on this. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Maybe even do we need another set of parentheses? Who knows? Is that right? Okay, let's do this. Okay, that's going to equal t. You plug that in your calculator, and I hope you get something like, watch. This should be, I'm going to guess, 0 0.4771 over something like 4 times 0 0.0128. Just do, every, just do yourself a favor. When you're doing this stuff, look, I'm going to do it in blue. Just do this. Find what that number is. Stick it here. Do this 4. I know what 4 is. That's also 4. So just do 0 0.4771 divided by this times this. Just do it step by step. So t is going to be approximately 9.3 years. So when you're doing it, your problem, and you've got like a double, ooh, don't put like, we want to double $8,432. You know, no, just do 2 equals 1. You want to quadruple it, 4 equals 1. You want to quintuple it, 5 equals 1. See what I'm saying? The amount, you want to double it to 1 triple three one quadruple four one you get the gist that's what you do you have any questions give me a call text or email